morning everybody it is morning morning <laughs> it's 1 15 p.m slept just woke up and just came downstairs and uh lots going on this morning uh, jack eichel is a golden knight love the player absolutely love the player i was friends with alex tuck he's gone so that's unfortunate but you got to give something to get something but more importantly we got to figure out what the hell we're doing with poker because i'm exhausted obviously Today is day 1A of the main event, and we have to figure out what makes the most sense in terms of what day to play. Right, buddy? Huh? Right, buddy? Where's your brother? Outside, chilling? Okay. Um, I got to figure out what makes the most sense. Obviously, today is out. So then there's B, C, D, E, F. Now, B, I'm not even sure I'd be ready yet, but B is out because B, I have... Well, it's not out, out, but yeah, it's kind of out. On B, I have a, the GG party. We're having a party at the, at the Rio for GG players and stuff and then day one c i have like a meet and greet with the club gg members and then uh day one b members and qualifiers the ones who qualified in club gg then on day one d is the online 3200 high roller i'd want to play and i don't really want a two table okay then you have enf where there's all this oh don't oh, oh, that yeah you don't play enf because the Europeans are coming. The Europeans are coming. Da, da, da. You don't want to play with the young Scandies. They'll bluff you. They'll five, six bet you all in and shit. Ah, bah, bah. Ideally, here's the thing. I want to play uh, the day two on A, B, or D. Because A, B, or D, you get a day off from between day two and three, which can be very, very valuable from a rest perspective. Um, C is out. There's just no way I'm playing C because anyways, C's restart is with E and F anyways. So as of now, I'm tentatively on 1E, e. unless, unless I think it's worthwhile to two-table. I t hate the idea of two-tabling, playing the online while I'm playing the main event. You know, the main event, you want your hyper-focus in there. Having said that, it'll be later in the day when I would join. Not much, I don't know, man. We'll figure it out, but I just got to wake up here in a minute or now. And whatever, I'm going to do my thing today. Got hockey stuff. We're going to read more about the Eichel trade and our lineups and just try to recharge batteries because I'm completely drained. And it's fine, but it's like it's all, all of them happen, and he always had a good hand. This is no like, oh fucking god. No, it's just that every one of them happened in the most bloody way because it, I had the whole pot on Sixth Street and then had none of it on Seven. He caught exactly what he needed. So those are really emotionally frustrating. And as you guys saw yesterday, this 50k, I'm more emotional. All right, people, we're not going to, this is going to be a long vlog. I just wanted to check in with you guys because I know you're like expecting something. We're not going to play any poker, but I do want your help with something. I do want your help with the decision. When do you, if you were me, what would you do? Okay. If you were me, right. Would you play? Well, not day one, a late reg, which is crazy. That's, I'm not even going to give you that as an option. Would you play day one B despite the GG party, ask them to maybe adjust the dinner break a little bit so I can do the thing and then go right? Seems like a lot. Day 1C, play that, and then on the dinner break, do the meet and greet with the Club GG um, qualifiers. Play Day 1D and late reg the 3K No Limit Hold'em High Roller online and play both at the same time, okay? Would you play Day 1E, which would give you no break between days 2 and 3, or F, which is the same case, the same situation, where you would not have a day off between E and F. So what day would you play if you were me? Um, you know, and also you got the Scandy thing. Oh, all the Scandies. So that's the, I don't know. What would you do if you were me? Give me some, give me some comments in the, in the chat. Give me, yeah, 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 yeah. You just stole your spot. You were here, and then you got moved away, because he, he, he's a, you don't, snooze, you lose. All right, so, like I said, not going to be a long vlog. We're going to talk a little bit about my fantasy team today. Got just a regular game. I'm 7-4 and four now on the season, and the lineup is ugly. We got some, a couple injuries. Ryan Ellis will not play. Carson Soucy will not play. Nolan Patrick, who we have on the bench, will not play. I guess the interesting decision would be in goal. 
Guys, all my goalies are available, right? You got Vegas and home to Detroit. You got, you got, uh, we got Calgary at Buffalo, which Calgary's been fantastic. And then, where the hell are they? The Islanders. Where the hell are they playing? Where are the Islanders at? What the heck's going on? I thought I had the Islanders. At Winnipeg? Let me see. That can't be the one. What? I'm confused. So wait a minute. Today's what day? I'm looking at the wrong fucking day. No wonder. What day is today? I gotta, I'll figure this out. One second. Okay, officially figured it out. So no, it's, I was on the, I was looking at the wrong schedule. Vegas is in Ottawa after just getting shellacked by Toronto. You got Calgary at home to Dallas. Calgary's been fantastic. Then you got the Islanders against Les Habitants. Les Habitants. Ah ouais, c'est ça. New York Islanders, you're going to get a start in Montreal because uh, they're going to have problems with the scoring. You know, uh, Cole Caulfield is uh, demoted to the minor league and uh, it's uh, going to be a difficult time for them against a tough Islander defensive team. So we're going to take them and uh, that's it. But uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah. And then we're playing against uh, this. This team is like, this is the team. It just seems like three and seven on the season, but. Fucking light up's better than mine. Ovechkin, Dvorak, Skinner, the whole deal. So I'll sweat it, chill today. But as far as vlogs, I probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll just check in with you all every day. No poker till, I guess I'll, yeah. We'll just, ch I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> just whatever. I need to veg. Okay, let's get him because these guys are freaking out at the pool guy. Huh? What are you freaking out about? He's just here to do the thing he does every week, guys. You don't pay attention. One more thing I wanted to mention, which I think is really cool. Day 1A of the main event. Guess who's in there? Guess who's in there at age 88? The man, the myth, the legend, the godfather of poker, Mr. Doyle Brunson. First main event since 2013. Gotta love it. Everybody root for Doyle, you know? So, uh, that's cool. Yeah. It's kind of fun looking at the updates. Gets me a little pumped up, but again... Totally not ready to play. I am ready to put some shorts on and take these guys for a W A L K. All right, boys, time to put the thingy on. Come here, come here. That's a good boy. <laughs> there you go. Strap in. Strap in. Okay, Apollo always goes first. Come here. Come on. Get your head in there. There you go. Okay. And we're off. All right, while we watch puppies, I'm still debating. I've changed my mind 20 times. But again, like we've got the party at Voodoo Lounge tomorrow, which will be tonight for you guys that see this. That'll be fun. So B Bay 1B is out. 1C, there's just no point. 1C does me no good. It's just like, all right, I'm not quite rested and ready, but I still play without the break on day two and day three the way that it sets up. So it feels like, I mean, it's just E. E or F, right? That's what we got to go with. The other key consideration thing we have to think about now, too, is we've only got a few days, a few days, a few days to set our schedule because I've been waking up, you know, I've been setting my alarm for noon because I always restart it too because we restart every fucking day because we bag every fucking night, yo. Um, but now we're going to be starting at 11 a.m. That means not noon wake up time. We need a 9 a.m. wake up time, all right? So... You know, and sometimes it takes a couple days to, to make that adjustment. Coffee's always a thing. It's available, but that's going to be the new thing for a little bit. We're going to have to start waking up around 9 o'clock. So, uh, I don't know. Tomorrow morning, I think what I'll do is I'll just get up. I'll set an alarm and just get up at 9, even if I haven't slept enough. And then I'll take a nap. I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure this out. You guys can help. It's fine. In the comments. What would you do if you were D-Nights right now? Set the time clock, what day to play, all the freaking things. Did you guys poop on their lawn? Because if you did, you did. I got baggies. We're good. Relax. All right? Okay. All right. Can't stop thinking. All right. Maybe it's 1F. Maybe it has to be 1F. And here's why. Another caveat to this complicated puzzle. On 1D is the Sunday. We will be playing the 3K High Roller online. And if we go deep there, that's a late night. That's 2, 3 in the morning. And how are we going to play E? If we're in that thing till 3 in the morning, we've got to be there for 11. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. F now? I'm really going to play 1F? Is that it? 1F? Or 
1D with the laptop, with the iPad, and just play late. I don't know, man. It's the main event, yo. The main freaking event. <laughs> I'm going to change my mind 85 times. I don't know what you were expecting, but uh, this one's going to take some time. And I guess it's going to be us for a uh, while. What, what Obviously, in our mind is we're, all uh, talk about the Jack Eichel trade. A little poker uh, in the left. Uh, the game's coming. Hey, uh, look at it's Platt and Hanks on my TV. All right. So Vegas did it. They got Jack Eichel. I've loved Jack Eichel as a player for a very long time, ever since he was drafted. I've been trying to get him in my fantasy league. It's not a thing because the guy that I'm playing tonight, he has him. Um, so the question is, like, do I like the trade or not? I like Alex Suck was a buddy, right? Sad to see him go, but he'll go back to Buffalo where he's happy there. Great player. Um, they're going to have cap issues now, but like, I don't know, they'll finagle some way. Um, I think it was a good trade for both. I mean, Vegas got what they wanted. They're all in, literally. They're just going for it this year. And Buffalo crushed it. I mean, you picked up Krebs, you picked up Tuck, you picked up a first rounder for a guy who might not even play if his you know, neck injury uh, doesn't go well. But overall, I'm happy to have Jack Eichel. I felt like we needed a real top end center to be a competitor in the playoffs, even though the guy's never played a playoff game in his entire life. I mean, He's just built for the playoffs. The guy can create on his own. I remember in OT, he's one of the most fascinating players to watch three on three. So, um, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. But listen, nothing's going to happen for the next three, four, five months because, you know, he out. I totally forgot. We've got this live. You can watch Doyle play day one. This will be fun in the corner with some audio from. The Vegas game and watching the game, you know, doing all the things. All right, like I said, I've changed my mind a hundred times. Uh, day one D has just opened itself up again, possibly. Okay, here's here's the thought. You can late reg that, say like it till nine thirty, right? The day will basically be over at nine thirty because you start at eleven and the other thing on day one D. So if I late reg and jump in around eight o'clock, it would only be about an hour to end day one where I'm playing both. And day 1D is by far the ideal day because of the break between day 2 and day 3. <laughs> you notice I change my mind every 15. This is real. All this stuff happening in my brain right now, still trying to figure it out. But 1D is back in action. All right, I know this is incredibly lazy, but I postmated a damn Starbucks. <laughs> One coffee because I'm too lazy and vegging just to go get it. Here we go. Look at that. A venti cappuccino with the soy milk. Don't mind if I do. All right, what am I, nuts? Am I crazy? F is a definite no-go. One F, you crazy? Sure, it starts at noon, which is nice. But get this, I didn't realize this. If you play one F, that's on November 9th, right? Your day two's November 10th. Your day three, November 11th. That means no rest whatsoever. You go balls to the wall, no breaks in the main event. Can't be a thing. So... I'm thinking we're between D, play the online late, or E, D or E, D or E, D or E, D or E. All right, debate update, debate update, just doing some texting to figure out the rules here. Vegas up three to one, looking good there. But so day one D is the one I want to play now with a couple hours of online uh, play, like in the last two hours, shouldn't be a problem. Then I realized, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm often on the feature tape. I'm usually on the feature table when I play these things. So I was like, well, is it going to be a problem? to play on your iPad, because I know in the future table you're not supposed to have your phone. And apparently it may be. So what the hell is that? Like, that's just completely unfair to me. If somebody was playing in the outer tables, got moved to a feature table, and they're playing the 3200 online as well, they just can't play after the, they bought in? I don't know. I'm going to figure out what's going on with that, because 1D is just so much, like, it's so clearly the one that I want to play most. But not if I can't play online at the feature table. That sort of defeats the purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, don't know what to tell you other than this is what I've been doing the whole day. This is a day of nothing. This is a vlog of nothing. This is a vlog of me just saying, I don't know what day I'm going to play. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, you, I don't know. I don't know how you did, but here's the deal. Tomorrow is going to be that uh, GG party at around 5.30. I'll be back at the Rio. Uh, but man, I'm just zonked. Got nothing in me. No exercise. No nothing. This is it. This is what we got for the day. I'm going to try to catch up on some TV, you know, but man, whew, I, did, I needed this. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got for you. I'm gonna call, we're going to call that a wrap. Well, you won't, you know, you just, you know, see what I'm watching on TV? Look, that's a picture of my phone. And that was Mushu. You guys remember Mush. My 
dog I had for 17 years. Anyway, these guys keep me company now. Okay. All right, peeps. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Something.